All right, someone had asked how you uh, set a penny to put it in a, in a, in a front diff. I think his name was Sheldon, I'm not sure. Um, all right, just to give you a quick idea, it's really more involved in this, but here's your pinion gear. All right, what you need to do is first establish, well, if you buy a good gear from a reputable company, it'll have the depth on it of what it should be installed at, which means that what is the height that this head should be in from the barren space, all right? So in this case, we know that this particular pinion gear wants to be a 3.551. So what we do is take that, that's the, that's the shims that this had needed already, all right? This we know already because I already did all that process. Doesn't matter which way it goes in, as long as you get the desired thickness you need. In this case, we need 48 thousandths. We got 48 thousandths. All right, that's not how the baron goes on either. This is a setup baron, okay? I had my installed height right. I'm just explaining this so you guys get it, okay? Then you would put the front baron into the housing. You know, let me show you. Then what you would do is you would take your baron in the front. You put that into your housing, and then you would press the seal back in over that, and then you would install your pinion back in from behind. Okay, and then after that, then you would, I don't know where the fuck I put it, all right. Then you would put your crush collar on, you would install that through the housing like I just showed. Put the front <clears throat> companion flange or end yoke on it and get to your preload okay and then that's how you do that <laughs> 